All right, y'all, I hope you're doing well. Um, so update for the month of September, uh, have not really painted any miniatures at all. My brain has just been totally fried. So I thought I'd do something different. I thought, you I thought I'd take you up on a hike, hike up Mount Mansfield. So here we start in the Northern Hardwoods Broadleaf Forest of Sugar Maple, American Beech, Yellow Birch are the, the main species. Um, and as we hike up the, the mountain, um, then we start to get into this alpine zone, um, balsam fir and red spruce, ledgier, drier. Um, the trail up, pretty uh, ledgy, pretty scrambly, a lot of scrambling. So a lot of these like rock faces, I mean, I think some of the taller ones were, I mean, that was maybe 10 feet tall. A lot of them are higher. So now we got some views out to the west. Um, we're maybe halfway up the mountain here. Um, and then, yep, looking up, you can see the, the ridge line, the, the, top of the, the, the top of the mountain. So a lot of cliffs and scrambling up um, these pretty steep rocky areas, going through caves like this, which is really cool, um, which you don't see on every mountain. That's another kind of cliffy scramble um, to hike up. And yep, here we're starting to get onto what's called the chin of the mountain. Um, again, more of that scrambling. Uh, and here you can see, like, we still got a ways to go up. That's the ridge line across to the, the peak. But what a, a beautiful, gorgeous day. All right, here we're on the chin looking south um, to the Green Mountain Range going south. Camel's Hump in the distance, which is kind of the classic Vermont mountain. Uh, we'll do that one. Actually, I've got another video of that one somewhere on this channel. But yeah, hiking through this um, alpine forest along the ridge line. Um, here we're out on, on the top of the ridge line, and you can see the peak and the difference. And we got some of these small dwarf forests to hike through. So that's about a mile and a half. Um, this is just a rocky outcropping I thought was cool. Anyways, finally at the summit, looking out to the west, which is like the wilderness side. Um, pretty awesome views. Um, and then north right here, long trail looking north up to Canada, and then here to the east, um, and that's the Stowe Ski Resort you can see in the valley there, and then back to the south. All right, so I thought I would just take you through the map so you can actually um, get some context for uh, what you're looking at. So here we're um, looking at Vermont. Uh, my home state, that opening shot in the video was of uh, Lake Champlain, uh, which I live quite close to. I live about a mile away from Lake Champlain. Um, but we were hiking up here in the kind of the heart of the state, um, the heart of the state, Mount Mansfield. So tallest mountain. Um, I parked here at the uh, Butler Lodge Trailhead um, access down the Stevensville Road, which um, the reason why I parked there, two reasons. One, it's the closest parking. Well, actually, the real reason is it's the closest parking to me. Um, so the route I took up, which you could see, um, started out heading up the Butler Lodge Trail, which kind of um, goes, follows uh, this side of the, the valley up to Butler Lodge, which you could see a little bit um, in the one of the frames, uh, this is actually, this, what it's showing here is the long trail, which is a trail that it's about 200 miles long that goes from Massachusetts through Vermont to Canada. So um, we hiked up the Butler Lodge Trail, headed up uh, the cliffy scramble to the ridgeline right here. And then that, view, that shot where we were looking south towards Camel's Hump on the chin, that is like right about here um, where the long trail comes up the mountain. Um, so then we followed the long trail north across the ridge line. So this is, so you can get a sense of scale. So from this trailhead up to here, that is somewhere over two miles, uh, two to three miles um, up here. I guess, uh, actually, yeah, it must be over three miles. I can't quite remember the way up. But that's somewhere around three miles. This ridge line um, from here, this visitor center, there is actually a car road. Like people drive up to it, 
from this visitor center to here, it's one and a half, it's over one and a half miles up across the ridge line. Um, so a little extra from there. Um, so that, I don't know exactly how far that is from right here to the top, from, to the true peak, uh, from the chin to the peak, but from the visitor center, it was like a little over one and a half miles. Uh, so I hiked up across the ridge line and then um, I just hiked back across the ridge line because I, I just like that kind of ridgy hike. Um, so I came back, uh, hiked back across here, and then the way I came down actually was down this ridge line, which is called the Maple Ridge Line. Um, this way up was like, you can see it goes up the mountain in a pretty short distance. It is like a real cliffy scramble, and it's one thing going up those kind of cliffs, but you just, they're not really fun to like go down. Um, so I wanted a little more gradual descent. So I went down this ridge um, and I remember actually very distinctly cause um, I was out of water and I was like really suffering at this point. Um, I didn't bring enough water. I drank all my water at the chin and I was like, ah, oh, it's only like basically an extra, you know, just, I mean, it's not super uphill walking across the ridge. So I was like, yeah, well, it won't be so bad. Um, walking across that dry ridge on a hot day and walking back, like I was extremely dehydrated um, by the time I got here. And so I was very eager to like get back below tree line um, after being like baked in the sun. So this ridge walk back down was like honestly um torturous it was torturous but this was 0.9 miles um because i was like really <laughs> um i was really like paying attention to that and it said it on a sign but man this just felt never ending this point nine point um nine mile stretch because it's like totally exposed um totally exposed in the sun you're scrambling up and down these ledges like there's some cliffs here that you know you can scramble up them like no problem but they're like 20 feet tall um even going down like you have to go back up um some of these cliffs and man i was like so um i was getting a little loopy because here i was just like baking in the sun down this ridge so that was 0.9 miles and then it was like 2.1 miles the stretch was 2.1 miles back to the back to the trailhead and there is basically once you leave this valley there is like no uh water so um i should have stocked up on way more water for this uh ridge hike but i didn't you know at first when i was initially doing it um i was like yeah i'll just go to the chin and back down but once i got up to the chin it's like yeah you gotta you gotta bag the bag the peak here but anyways a great hike I'm going to be doing a lot of hiking over the winter, um, mainly because um, I want to bag the 48 high peaks of the White Mountains in New Hampshire. So, I mean, if you go over on the map, um, so the part, I mean, I live on this in Chittenden County in this area now, but where I grew up was um, down here on the New Hampshire border. And the White Mountains are really like the real deal mountains. And there's 48 high peaks. And I've done 20 odd some of them, um, including Mount Washington, which is like, probably I think it's the tall, it's the tallest mountain in New, in New England easily. Probably the tallest on the East Coast, if not close. Um, but um, I still got a few left to do. I did most of these when I was in college. And yeah, I, w I just tried to do some this summer. And I was like, I just do not have the um, conditioning for this um, at the moment. It, and I know the one, like I did, um, my kind of like hometown practice mountain is, uh, tch, 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 tch. okay, there's Lyme, Orford. It's this one. Um, you can see this area. Um, anyways, this is Mount Cube, which, um, it, that one's kind of easy, but then over here, no, I don't know. Sorry. It's hard to tell sometimes from the, the, um, 
aerial photography. Yeah, that is Mount Cube. Okay, yep. Yeah. So sorry. Um, yeah, so I knew that was Mount Cube. And then Smarts Mountain is my kind of hometown mountain. So here we go. Yep. Yeah. Smarts Mountain. Uh, this hike is kind of long and I mean, it's tough. It's like a long hike. Um, it's about um, 10, almost 10 miles round trip. Um, and this is like a good practice mountain because it's kind of like the real deal stuff, but it's not quite as long and tall as the real White Mountains, which you get over here. Uh, Mount Musilak, I've done this one in summer and winter. I mean, this is like a real, it's a tough hike, but it's not even like really um, as tough as they get in the Whites. I've done these ones, Canon, Lafayette, these are a step up. Um, well, Canon, well, yeah, actually, I would say both of them are a step up from Musilak. This I've done here. Um, this is an awesome area. It's called the Pemigewasset Wilderness, but um, I've hiked this whole loop, which this is a 30 mile loop, um, but you can go across. This is the Pemigewasset River, and this is a whole area is a in between these roads is like a designated wilderness area so there's like no development in here this is like a massive wilderness area but what i have done is hike down uh, follow the mount um, follow the uh, pemigewasset river and then you can hike up to bond and then the bond cliff um, yep there's the bond cliff this is like it so from um, the uh, parking area, which I think you park here at the Hancock parking area. Yeah, Lincoln Woods Trailhead. Following this up to the Bond Cliff, that is 10 miles um, up to the Bond Cliff. And then over 10 miles easily, actually. I think it might be like 14, 14 plus or something. But once you're on the Bond Cliff, then you can hike um, across this whole ridge line which is a brute, honestly, this is a brutal ridge line because once you're on the ridge, it is up and down, up and down. And um, hike across this kind of loop and then to Mount Garfield and then Mount Lafayette, Mount Liberty, Mount Flume. And then um, a back, uh, you go back through this, back down through the tent site to the um, parking area. So that was like an incredible hike. This area is absolutely awesome. But the ones I saw, I got to do um, the high peaks. Hmm. I'm not sure if we, I'll have to check if we hit the twins. We must have hit the twins. Oh, Bretton Woods. That's where the, um, the whole world financial order was uh, organized after World War II. If you ever heard the Bretton Woods Conference. Um, it's right here by my, by my, by Mount Washington. Um, also, yeah, when I was in college, I've done what's called the presidential traverse, which is like you leave one car on this side, one car on this side, and then hike across this mountain range, which is, um, it's pretty long. I forget how long, I want to say it's like 19 miles or something like that, 19 miles to traverse the mountain range, but you hit like a ton of these high peaks on the way. Yeah, I think you start up, the way we did is you start up Eisenhower, yes, this is definitely the way, up Eisenhower, across um, this ridge line to Mount Washington, and then across these or actually, no, did we start on this side? No, actually, sorry, I lied to you. Yeah, we started up um, Mount Madison, this trail. Yeah, parked over here, left one car over here, park, hiked up Mount Madison, and then hiked south, Madison, Adams, Jefferson. And then there's um, up to Washington. And this is, yeah, okay. This ridge line is like freaking brutal too. Not as bad as the Pemigewasset, but man, it's tough. Um, and then there's water here, which is great for like the end of the ridge line. There's water at this hut and then down. Um, so yeah, I've done that whole traverse, which it, you know, again, that's kind of brutal, but what, what do we still have to do? We still got to do Carter dome. Um, we got to do the tri pyramid, which I don't know where that is somewhere. 
try pyramid. I don't know. Try, try. Now try pyramid down here. This one is um, supposed to be absolutely brutal. Um, and again, it's a little more like remote in a way. So anyways, I know this has been like a big ramble, but um, I want to do, a, I really want to knock off the, as many as I can this summer, which is going to require conditioning. And you could probably hear in that other video, like the conditioning needs some work. I mean, it could be a lot worse, but uh, I just feel like I've been lacking the endurance um, and the get up and go. So um, hopefully, you know, by doing a ton of hiking over the winter time, we'll, uh, we'll be there. We'll be in shape for next summer. Um, I, w I was doing a lot of running, but I don't know. It's just like a little too much on the joints. So um, anyways, we're, um, that, we've been rambling for long enough. Um, we're going to call it there. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. I mean, it's probably going to be a while, but hopefully I'll have a shit ton of hoplites or something done to show you. Um, but it's going to be, it's going to be a while. So I might do some more hiking footage, which I know is not the reason why you're sub to this channel, but 